So in this video I will show you how to run Ruby with your Jupyter Notebook. I will be using VS Code because VS Code supports uh, writing Jupyter Notebooks. Let's see what versions do we have currently. So this is my Ruby version 3.3. .3. Let's check out Python version. And I have 3.12 for Python version. So the way to do this is first of all install uh, Jupyter. For that we need Python. So this is the command pip install Jupyter. There we go. It will do the Jupyter installation. Then second is we need a gem iRuby. So let's install that. There we go. And then we need to register iRuby with the Jupyter. Uh, so it will provide Ruby as one of the kernels. There we go. The registration is done. Now for a VS code, we just have to create a file. Uh, so I'll be creating a new file. Shortcut for that is control options command N. Once you do that, it will give you a pop-up. You can select what file you want. Usually we open a uh, text file. It also supports Python files. But for now, we are going to, to go ahead with a Jupyter notebook. The moment you create a Jupyter notebook, it will have its uh, default uh, code block of Python. So let's select a kernel there. Uh, and as you can see, it lists Ruby as one of the kernel. So I'm going to pick that one. And then let's go ahead and create a code block. So this is a Ruby block, as you can see, the it's showing that it is a Ruby cell. So let's type the typical hello world and see if it worked. And yeah, it is working perfectly fine. Let's do some more Ruby now. So here I'm creating a class. Now let's create a variable happiness dot new. Let's call it something. I'll call it myself. And we call a method on it. And oh yeah, it's working. Everything good. That's all.